man, what a joke. What a joke.
Envy is one of the seven deadliest things. So is slothfulness. So is throwing the work out there. Don't hate a person with the force of health you offer. I have not done that before. You made me laugh, thank you. What I learned on this radio, put it this way, what I forgot on this radio, Frankie, you'll never learn. Well, you keep repeating everybody out here, so, and everybody knows it, and Richie Rich has a diary that you take what somebody says that sounds good and make it your own every single night. So, you know, the joke is on me? I don't think so. I'm pretty original out here. You know, if I was Puerto Rican, I'd be Chico from Chico and the Man, Freddie Prince. Hey, Frankie. Wait a minute, I never speak to Richie Rich. How could Richie Rich have a diary on me? He's telling me he copies my mail too, he's a fan of mine. Hey, Frankie. Ooh, you just repeat everything, every out, everybody out here. That's right, you said you learned a lot from this radio. You absolutely learned a lot from us guys out here because you certainly repeat all of us. Hey, Frankie. Repeated anyone. I never knew I, I spoke to Richie Rich. First time I ever heard of this. This is something, though. Frankie. I say Richie Rich, I apologize. Maybe I did. Maybe I have Richie Rich on the mind, but I meant Richie Radio, Temple. Hey, Frankie. First of all, Richie Radio, which you could not teach. Yeah, he, uh, he, he, he misinterpreted. He heard exactly what you said. I guess he doesn't realize what you tried to explain to him is that Richie's got video gates totally and you starting to talk like him after getting beat down for about eight months, adapting all his vocabulary. Today, Frankie, Frankie, let me tell you what the diary reveals today. Today, Frankie, he's trying to convince the world that the box he told you a couple of weeks ago in the video game where uh, he got a special deal on it and it didn't get come from HRO. Today, he openly admits in a video game he's trying to convince a new fraud that it did come from HRO. You know, that's the reason he don't like my gates. My gates capture all his truth and justice and prove it to be nothing but unjust lie after lie. He teach me a same way you do, but since 9-11, everything changed. Every cell phone and every airway frequency is recorded and monitored. Nothing you can do about it. That's why, um, that's why the laws that were there yesterday or yesteryear for us videotaping or recording 
or using a uh, physical recording as our ledges for our communications was not allowed, where in turn today it is allowed. Frankie, he really wants to talk. He's been talking the whole time under you. I know he's not trying to talk to me. Um, I, I know I know the rest of you guys out there want to know when he met me, how long we've been hanging out, and how he could talk so much about me, but he's trying to talk to you, Frank, so I really want to sit back and see what evolves here. Well, 10-4, Rich, for as long as I can remember, in the state of New York, it takes one consult consenting person in the conversation to tape, you know? So there you go. You got it. You're, yeah, I mean, it's legal, and some guys out here purposely know, oh, Rich is out here, the video gates are on, and then they sort of play up to the video gate. Me, I ignore it. I couldn't care less. I don't know if it's on or it's not on. And like I said, uh, maybe six months ago, I might have listened to one or two of them. But yeah, I know if the Lord blesses me to be an old man, then I'll get to listen to them all. You know, I, I feel this very good exercise for him. Because uh, he's getting a lot off his chest that he would like me to hear, but as these past couple of video games tonight will reflect, Richie didn't hear one word of it unless you and Mikey allowed me to. Well, I'm going to be that quiet then. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, by all means, I, I have no reason to talk to the man. He's not a friend, customer. He's not somebody that interests me. And last but not least, I don't smoke his hardcore drugs with him. So uh, I'm back in the cut. Unbelievable. These guys will never learn. I, I just can't help them. I really can't. Well, what is it you're trying to teach out here, sir? Oh, get help. There's self-help books, there's videos, there's CDs. I like this. There's the Bible. That's a big help. Yeah, you gotta do something, dude. True justice in the modern way. The shit that comes out of your mouth is not truth. It's not the I take from what they have to say. If I took what they have to say, the better myself. Hey, Frankie, ask him what it is he's trying to teach out here. What it is we're not learning. Talk to him. When he comes off, let me in. saying about my video games. But on the other hand here, you're saying that us guys will never learn. Mr. Enforcer, just what is it you're trying to teach us out here for the last 14 months? Well, your buddy there, Frankie, Frankie, Mr. Brooklyn Bandit, is claiming that I learned everything from you, every, each and every one of you I took something from and embedded myself doing so. So, elaborate, sir. Where did I take? What did I take? I got it, Frank. What sex of Shut up. From either one of, or any of you that bettered me in any way or form. Elaborate, sir. Well, Mr. Enforcer, kindly allow me to elaborate. And uh, let me know if I'm elaborating wrong. First of all, can you hear me okay or do I need to pump it up? I hear you fine, sir. You are on the oath. Okay, since I'm under oath, I think what it was that Frankie was definitely trying to convey to you in layman's terms to allow you to understand is that 
from the first lockup with Richie on Channel 19 to the date of Enforcer Comes Clean, number one. Anything and everything that was spoken, transpired, or Richie had to send you to the dictionary for, from that point forward, he started to hear a lot of my vocabulary, sentences, attempted psychological maneuvers, and just a lot of other things that people out here say coming out of your mouth. Now, we understand Richie Rich is a decent individual and moved off Channel 31 to go to Channel 40 uh, because he wanted to get away from the war and the rhetoric and bullshit you and your girls try to bring out here that we beat down every day and every minute of the week. But, I mean, did I say it wrong? Is that Maybe is that not what he's trying to tell you? Well, I still didn't get the answer I was looking for. All right, Frankie. Ask him if he wants to answer from you. Take over. What did you... Mr. Brooklyn Bandit, or any of you guys out there, teach me, whether it be verbally... No, 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 let me get this. Mentally, to better myself. What did I learn from any one of you? I want to know, what did I extract? What set of imagination, what set of, 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 of intelligence, of intellect did I extract from any one of you highly educational or superior beings or superior intellects that you claim to be? What did you give me? I want to see it. I definitely didn't, I don't talk any different. See, I talk a certain way, so... I'm so glad he sounds so much like shit with his new radio and box. Yeah, like Cro-Magnum. So I gotta walk around like an ape in order to be equivalent to you, because you don't comprehend what I'm trying to tell you, what I'm trying to ask you. So basically, what did you teach me, Richard? You claim that you educated me. My vocabulary uh, is much greater since the last couple of years. What? That whenever you would talk to me, I would have to jump to a dictionary. Am I to understand this correctly, sir? No, Mr. Enforcer. I do believe what he was trying to say was he was reacting to your statement. I can't teach these guys anything out here. So um, you, you, you could pick it up with Frankie and ask him if that's not what he said. But, you know, what it is you're trying to teach us out here. We, we like to know, in, in a nutshell, if you could summarize, what truth have you provided out here that can be proven or is fact? documented, can be researched and proven fact, and what justice are you provided? Who are you trying to help? And uh, what are you trying to teach? I believe, you know, I mean, if I'm wrong here, I'm going to sit back and let you pick it up with Frankie, Mr. Um, Enforcer, a.k.a. Snake Fliskin, and a couple other handles, 45, 945, 845, 45, whatever you want to call yourself today. I like your mother's name for your dirt man. But I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to allow you to lock it up with Frankie, and, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, you made a valuable point. But I do believe to the listening public, he was responding to your words of, you can't teach these guys nothing out here. I'm glad you realized that. Men, you, no, 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 little boys will never be able to teach men anything. You know what I love? That both you guys are calling each other sir. This is fantastic. Wow, I think we're going to have a, a, a great 2016 out here. I'm mimicking the fag. Cut me some slack. Hey, and I know he's being sarcastic, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Vocabulary is vocabulary, sir. Well, I think he has something to pick up with you, sir, so I'm going to be quiet, sir. Oh, sir, you are under oath. We are in the court of uh, Enforcer 250. <laughs> Richie, you have, you do, you know, you do have the right to remain silent if you choose that option. You have the right to remain silent. I think the best thing for you, Richie, is to remain silent because every time you talk. Watch this. Oh, Richie. I, I hope 2016 is a better year for all of you. And I always wish the best for even people that envy me. <laughs> Which are not, nothing that you claim they are. But it's all right when you make allegations, false ones at that. Watch this. He just doesn't realize how he opens the doors. On YouTube. And you have people that enforce that type of action. Encourage, Mr. Frank encourages that type of behavior by you. Which is all good. Because it just 
tells me what type of individual he really is. So that's why I use the word hypocrite, and I don't use it lightly. Because if you're claiming to be a righteous person, and then you back a person that does the things that uh, Richie is, is capable of, that Richie has done. Frankie, ask him the things I've done. Get into that with him. Ask him, what is it? True friend is like myself who tries to help someone get off. <laughs> got you. They don't want to get off of. He wants to be your friend. Teen is a new year. I'm going to end that, that task. I'm going to end that... Uh, the, uh, how should I put it? I'm not going to put any more effort and energy of trying to get him clean because I, can, I see it's a losing battle. Tell him, how can he prove I'm dirty? You've all seen me. Do I look like any type of junkie? But I'm rich, not at all. It's something that I just can't uh, change, you know. A, a grown man should be able to say no. When you see yourself in the mirror and you see what it's doing to you, and you're not changing your ways. You're not changing your patterns, your behaviors. He's trying to sell a dream, guys. You need to lock it up to him one by one and get to the issue of his points. First, get him talking about everything I've done and he can prove I've done and ask him when I did this with him. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta get him to hang himself more. He don't understand how he opens the doors or leaves room for questioning. So good, because that shows the character or lack of character. And it shows you what drugs will do to you. So, you know, if you want to stereotype me, if you want to put me in a certain category, you know, it's really... A Don't say drugs. When he comes off the key, just ask him, what are the things Richie does or Richie's did? You are Richie. I'm putting you in a category since the first time I heard this guy's voice. Because the character that Richie... Roger, Roger. Hold on, he wants to try to convince y'all, all of my carrier, if they're all of my character, you know, about two years late. But, uh, you know, you do have to come to reality one day. And I'm Frankie, lock it up with him and ask him, say, okay, Mr. Enforcer, we're willing to listen to your truth and justice. What kind of things does Richie do, or what is he doing out here that might be offensive to us? And let's hear what's on his mind to help someone to better themselves because, you know, the one thing in life... Whoever said he wasn't better or was not better than anybody, he never claimed to be better than anybody. He's just average in the mix with everybody. You will be rewarded. Those are words of wisdom from the Aforza, 250. And I'm back out. Yeah, just that last statement was sort of true. But anyway, yeah, talking about hypocrites, yeah, I sort of understand what you're talking about when it, when it, when it comes to that word. But uh, I don't know if you know, but all my friends out here, they know I don't like when people's mothers be talking about because there's something personal in my life. I don't care. My worst enemy, don't even talk about Satan's mother. You know what I'm saying? So, if you ever heard me back quiet or shut my radio and just walk away, where's Frankie? Where's Frankie? Because somebody said something about your mother? Yeah. Otherwise, everything that you get, you sow, what you, you reap what you sow. And you sowed it. You're the one that all your friends call Richie a crackhead. Hey, cracky, hey, they say that. And he keeps showing his up over and over.
slot of a freaking piggy bank is closer to a crackhead than fat ass Richie Radio. I tell you, boys, I'm sitting back here in my easy chair. By all means, do, sir. Well, first of all, hey, Frankie, I'd like to make a correction on your part. I don't instigate, I don't tell anyone what to say. People I speak to, they have a mind of their own. They're independent operators, and that's the way it's always been. I'm not a leader of a crew. I'm not a part of a crew. I'm responsible for the content that comes out of my mouth. I'm responsible for my station. So a statement like LES, we run shit around here, don't make him part of a crew, or he's not identified, okay. From Channel 19 to Channel 31, Mosul, even in DX land, called Richie a crackhead. So I'm not one that started that, all right? But I'm not one who's going to enforce or, or... Ask him if he has any physical proof Richie smokes crack. Does anybody out here have any physical proof? But I speak to, see, I don't like to use the word or the term crew, because I'm not part of a crew, I'm not part of a clique. Those are two big issue points that could shut him down real good in areas. Well, you know what, that's too bad, because it, it is, I'm sure you defend the people that you like, that you speak to, and that's just the way it is. If you have friends out here, I have friends out here, and, you know, they might not all get together, or they might not like each other for whatever reason. But when you encourage Richie for his behavior, his deviant behavior, and... What behavior? I respond to my received the way any one of us will. Behaves in the way he acts. It just tells me that you're, you're not a leader. You have no leadership. You're a typical follower. <laughs> concerned about the video gates that I took every word that came out of his mouth that he's claiming is truth and proved it to be nothing but a lie. And while he was out here threatening to expose the fraud, aka BME, I totally exposed him and his whole family with truth, proof, and fact. Like, for example, you, it, you could say it's not truth and fact, but he'll say to people out here, I'm a crackhead and I smoke crack with him. Yet to other people out here that met me, look at me and know me, he don't once ever hear them calling me a crackhead or a junkie because the people that actually know me 
No, Richie is none of that at all. And you can see that clearly. But I guess, you know, he feels intimidated by people who go to meet other people because he makes such a bet for himself that he's afraid to eyeball somebody in fear that they just might knock him the fuck out. Uh, you know, I'm not that type of guy. I only put my hands on somebody when their flesh touches mine. Anything they say can't do me no harm. <laughs> See, I'm definitely on something. That's my right-hand man. He don't understand what you just said, Johnny. Good point, Mr. Rat. See, now he's anticipating and conjecturing on why I might be a heavyweight. I, you know, I carry my weight well. I'm not blower at all. Yeah, have to be one of you. I think we're going to agree to disagree, aren't we? There goes another threat, guys. You got to make a choice now. You got to make a choice on what's real and what's true out here. What's truth and what's just. What's real and what's not. The king of New York, and I'm back quiet. NYC Radio Wars, Truth and Justice video viewers, 27 minutes to the end. You get to know Mr. 250 Enforcer and what he is all about out here. Then check out Peace Offering.